frosty. So good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday morning today. Uh, there was no freight for me to hook onto yesterday. So hopefully today there will be something we can go and load onto a trailer or hook onto and get out on the road. Not too sure yet. Still haven't heard anything. But we're just getting going here, waking up. It sure is getting frosty outside though in the mornings. Almost all the leaves are gone off this tree except uh, this little stubborn branch here. Look at this, this one's still green. Isn't that weird? Isn't that weird? And that tree over there has still got quite a bit of leaves on it. Huh. So those of you uh, either living under a rock or uh, who have just haven't been on the internet and haven't heard the news, uh, I've been posting it everywhere, but it was right during the US elections too, so I can understand if a lot of you were pretty distracted at that time. Um, Diesel was put to sleep day before yesterday. His old age caught up with him. He couldn't get up on his own anymore and uh, couldn't go to the bathroom outside anymore by himself and he was in a lot of pain, but not anymore. So he crossed over the Rainbow Bridge on November 4th, 2024. So he's no longer with us. He was a huge part of these vlogs for the last 13 years. Yeah, we still got Chevy and Wiener. And then there was two. Anyway, it's getting a little chilly out here. Let's go inside and make some coffee. I showed you this yesterday, but this is the ramp that I had built for Diesel. His last part of life there, he couldn't get up the the steps to get into the house there anymore, so I built this to make it easier for him. You hungry, Chevy? So I just finished, and I'm just uploading the video of Diesel's last day. I'm not sure what I'm going to call it yet, but uh, it's in the process of being uploaded. You've probably watched it already if you're watching this video, I'm thinking. I'm not sure when I'm going to release it, but uh, I've got the whole video right in here. That's the whole thing start to finish. It turned out to be 31 minutes. It was impossible to include everything I wanted to, but this main part here in the blue, that's just the vlog from the day. And the purple ones here, these are just pictures from the past. Not too many pictures from in the truck, uh, because I'm going to be making another video of Diesel for uh, Christmas. So I put together this vlog of the day. It's vlog 3202. Uh, I wanted to get, <coughs> to get that up to keep it in sequence, to share with you the day as it happened. Uh, very hard day for us. Still very hard. It's uh, a couple days later already. It's uh, going to be a little while before I fully, I don't know if I'll ever fully get past that, but uh, man, that was, a, that was a tough vlog to put together. I, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, it's on my channel, on my main page there, uh, vlog 3202. If you want to go back and look at it. it's a pretty sad one though so just a heads up if you want to watch that but i am going to be creating a tribute video to him and i want to get it done for christmas and release it probably on christmas i know everyone's going to be busy with their family gatherings on christmas so you don't have to watch it exactly then uh, but you can watch it once uh, your gatherings and celebrations are finished watch then maybe i'll post it on christmas eve it's always been a special day for me but I want to put together a video, that, which means that I've got to uh, pull all of these videos off my channel from 13 years of him in there and select some of the most special moments and the, the coolest moments. And, you know, all the way from when I got him to our, when I met Brit to when I married Brit. 
all the way up till now. All of that is in the vlogs on my channel, so I want to pull that all out and create a more in-depth video. I have no idea. Maybe it'll be a feature length one. Maybe it'll be like an hour long. Maybe it'll be a half hour. Maybe I don't know. I'm going to make another one though. Uh, sometime in the future. That one I'm going to put a little bit more effort and time into, so that'll come later around Christmas. But right now, it's evening already and I've got to get to the truck. We have a load. We're going to Kenora, picking up a load, going to Brainerd tomorrow, but I got to get there tonight. So I've got all my stuff in the truck already. I got the truck ready yesterday, so I've just got my basic stuff and my, my bag and all my electronics. What's going on over here? Who's on the counters? Apparently we're rearranging his cupboard. Okay, well that's fun. Wanna come down? I'm gonna put this in here where he can't get to it. Let's see if I can get out of here. It's like Josh proof. Okay, I'm just gonna put this here where he can't mess around with it because I got sensitive electronic stuff in there. Yellow. Uh -huh. Oh, you found yeah. his red cup? Okay, good. He had to have this before. He was drinking out of it like a big boy. Oh, yeah? That's <laughs> why. He's, he's pretending to drink out of his yellow. Uh, that one's dirty, the other one's kind of cleanish. Maybe not anymore. Let's, let's go get you some applesauce. You want to come? Chevy, uh, you've got to take really good care of your mom while I'm gone, okay? Yeah. You're the big dog now. You're, you're the big one. I don't know if I can say you're the top dog because uh, I think we know who's in charge of everything below our knees. But it's just you guys left, okay? So you take good care of mom. Wiener, I know you will. I've gotta go to work. This kid, so curious, has to get into everything, has to touch everything, has to feel everything, pick up everything. In his defense, I did this. He asked to come up here and I let him. Couldn't have got up here without a helping hand. <laughs> I think he needs a play kitchen. Yeah. I think that would be perfect for him. Just put it in here somewhere. We got lots of space in here. So. Play kitchen, maybe for Christmas. Yeah, you might be a chef one day. You can cook me some good meals when I'm old. Or the blue, we're back. Did you miss us? Did you miss me? Did you miss everyone? You're dirty. Look at you, dirty. It's okay. I don't blame you. So this is my new Blackhawk steer that I bought uh, about a month ago already. Got several thousand miles on it, and uh, oh, more than that, probably several ten thousand miles. And it's been doing great. Fantastic. I know it's the regional tire and it doesn't have the, uh, what do you, what should I call it? Ah, it's on the tip of my tongue. It doesn't have this little groove right here. I know, I know. Uh, <laughs> I realized that after. I'm not a tire expert, okay? But I bought this one and it's doing great for me. It's doing great, it's wearing nice so far. It's running nice. On this side, I still have my Firestone, right? This is the, the little groove here. Uh, I forget what it's called right now. Uh! Of course, now I look silly and ignorant, but oh well, you know what I mean. For the long haul tire, it just helps the tire wear more evenly when it does a lot of highway miles. But uh, this one's running running well. This fire still's running well, but I am totally switching over to Blackhawks. I am uh, a diehard Blackhawk purchaser now. They're half the price, half the price. That tire on the other side there was $800. And that was the cheaper one. The, the Michelins, they were $1,000. This. 550 after tax and installation. Same thing on the back over here. I got these Blackhawks. These were half price. I have uh, some Goodyear's back there. You wanna know how much you see them back there? I still have to use them. I bought them. Uh, I'm gonna use them eventually. Those were $1,000 each. These, $500 each. Half the price. And they are wearing beautifully, nice and even. They're doing great. Just as good as any Michelin or Goodyear I've ever used. So you can't really argue with that, right? I'm here running a business. I'm trying to make money. I'm not running a charity. And you have, I have a family to feed and a family to grow, I hope. And a house to pay for, gotta keep a roof over their head, gotta keep food in the refrigerator. And we're trying to work really hard so that maybe, just maybe, we might have a little bit left over 
so that we can take a trip every now and then with the family. Maybe go to Disney World one day. I don't think that's too much to ask. I think that would just be called the Canadian dream. The American dream. Whichever side of the border you're on, we got the same dreams. Same, same history, same country. Same continent, sorry, different countries. I almost let that one slip there. <laughs> but uh, when I brought my truck in for a service, they forgot to grease my fifth wheel. So if anybody from my shop is watching this right now, just letting you know you guys forgot for the... No, that's a, I got grease. I'll grease it. Don't worry. Not a big deal. They did everything else and they do a fantastic job and I will be back. I'll keep going back. Just mentioning that. <laughs> Stop and make sure I put those little grease packs on the fifth wheel first before I go completely under. That way my fifth wheel is greased. Wait for it. Every time. I don't know why my radio does that. Oh, so I've been here in Kenora for a little while already. I should go to bed. I've been watching old videos with Diesel. Oh, <laughs> uh, I shared one on my Facebook and on my uh, YouTube page uh, from 11 years ago. He's 13 years old. And uh, so he was already two years old in that video. I've been looking for one specific one where the video opens up and starts off with me just chasing him down the hallway, just at like full speed. We just race into the bedroom at the back of the house trailer that I lived in at the time. And we went racing back into the living room, and that's how the vlog starts. It's one of my very first ones. I'm gonna find it yet, but uh, I'm running out of time. I gotta go to bed here, and there's so many memories to go over with Diesel. Uh, like I was saying earlier, I, I I finished the video like of the of the day Diesel's last day. That's not his tribute video. I know. I, I think I went a little bit long on that one. I know it's a long vlog, and I added a lot of pictures at the end. I rewatched it now again. I haven't released it to you yet as of filming this, but I'm gonna leave it the way it is. Thirteen years is a, a long time, you know. You know, it's just a portion of my life, but for him, that was his whole life, start to finish. I'm sorry if I keep talking about him. <laughs> It'll be a little while for me to, uh, to get past that. Um, those of you who've been following me and watching my videos for over a decade, well, he, he used to be the whole vlog. He was the vlog. That's why you came here, right? That's why you subscribed. So many people. And then it was hard for some people when he had to retire out of the truck. He couldn't get in the truck anymore. Even with his steps, like he couldn't get in here. And uh, he's just too old. Sucks that dogs have to get old so quick. But man, it's really made me like really think about my life, you know? <coughs> we all get old, and one day we all have to die. And so, what are we gonna use our time here in this world for? should be wise about how we use our time. I'm really glad that I started doing these vlogs back in 2011. I'm really glad because I have most of my life, a big chunk of it now anyways, documented almost every single day. And you know, I can go back and see those memories. One thing I would probably do different though is I need to start filming more at home. Those are the memories that are most important to me. Yeah, I'm Trucker Josh, I'm making vlogs here on the road, but th this is also a, like a daily journal for me too, this vlog channel. It's also for me to look back on it in times like this. 
I just lost my best friend of 13 years and I can go back and look at the memories that we spent together. So one day when I'm, I'm old and I'm nearing the end, I want to be able to see all my memories of all my life, not just my life on the road. I want to see my memories from at home, you know, my kids growing up, whatever sports they want to play or whatever they get up to, me and my wife. I do have our marriage here on my YouTube channel. Our growth. Though I don't focus on hard times. Everybody goes through hard times. But, you know, I'm so glad I married who I did. She has been a fantastic, like Brit, she's been a fantastic mother to our dogs. And now even better to our son. I'm so happy that, you know, Theo has a mother at home that just loves him fiercely, unconditionally, as much, if not more than I do. I don't know if more, I don't know if more, but definitely it's <laughs> just as much. <laughs> she's such a good mom and it's something that she's prepared for her whole life. Like a lot of little girls growing up, dreaming of being a mom one day, right? You know, it's been her dream her whole life to be a mom and she's nailing it. She's all these little things that I wouldn't even think of. She's thought of and already taken care of. So it's moments like that and uh, that I want documented. I want it part of my journal here on my channel. I want to one day, like I'm 36 now, I want to still be doing this when I'm in my 80s, maybe in my 90s, and maybe I'll make it to 100. I want to still keep doing this because I want it all documented. I want it, I want it all there. I hope YouTube will last that long. If not, we'll move to a different platform. Maybe I should start also posting, like mirroring my images on places like Rumble just in case, just another platform, just in case if YouTube suddenly disappears, that you guys know where to go and find me. If you don't have to watch me on both platforms, but at least then, like, if you want to keep tagging along, and catching up, uh, th then you know where, I'll let you know. I think I have a Rumble account. I just need to activate it and actually upload my videos to there, just as a backup at least, right? Uh, life is a crazy journey, crazy journey, but it's amazing. What a, what a, well, how blessed are we? How lucky are we to experience life? And I, as I say that I should realize that a lot of people don't have such a, a great life. Uh, maybe they don't have a great upbringing or great parents or a great family life at home. I understand that, but just the fact that we're alive and we're here experiencing this world for however long, don't take anything for granted with your loved ones, with your, with your pets, with your family. It goes by quick. And once people are gone, they're gone. Anyways, uh, this vlog has been mostly just me talking. You can tell I'm still processing everything and I'll be back. I'll be back to my normal self eventually, guys. Just bear with me. I'm doing okay, though. I mean, you don't need to worry about me. I'm doing okay. People keep asking me, how are you doing? How are you doing? No, really, Josh. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. I haven't been too overly emotional since the day that it happened. That was hard going to bed the, that night. I was uh, sobbing in bed for a little bit there. Once once the lights turned off, something about, like, Britt and I, we watched a movie together, and we decided to go to bed, we turned the lights off, and suddenly, as soon as it got dark, it was like my memories with Diesel just flashed in front of my, my face. Right from when he was young, and then I started going over the memories where I could have done better, I could have been a better person to him, I could have been nicer, I could have done things differently. I could have been better. I started feeling bad about that. And then I started thinking of the good memories. And Britt was, of course, there to comfort me and reassure me. But yeah, that was a hard night. Yeah, But anyways, I, I do need to try to go to bed. Because tomorrow, bright and early, I've got to be at the gate, ready to load, 7 a.m. I'm going to get there at like 10 to 7 if I can. I'm... Oh, well, I'm here already. I just got to get up and get the truck over to the gate. Huh. 
And then we're gonna load up another load. Excuse me, oh, sleep is calling. Uh, I'm gonna load up another load, we're gonna tie it down, we're gonna tarp it, we're gonna make it like a nice early Christmas present from Santa with my tarps. We're gonna bring it down to Minnesota, the good people in Brainerd. We're gonna drop it off there, hopefully tomorrow afternoon, get unloaded. And I'm probably gonna go home empty, is what I'm thinking. Maybe they'll have a reload, I don't know. We'll see. But uh, I'll go home empty and then I might be heading out over the weekend. They said they had some freight because I took Monday off uh, because Old Blue was getting serviced. And then Tuesday was the day that Diesel uh, was put to sleep. So I took that day and the next day off. And then I ended up, there, it was slow at work. It might have been because of the U.S. elections. Everything was sort of slow for, for a day or two there as everyone was sort of like on the edge of their seats. But uh, there was no freight the next day, so which was today. So there is a load for tomorrow, but I'm just getting a head start by getting there tonight. I'm, I'm talking too much. Josh, be quiet and go to bed. I'll see you tomorrow, everybody. Thanks for uh, listening to me. Thanks for being there for me. All these years, you guys have uh, been with me through a lot. So I, I appreciate that. And if you haven't already, and if you're new and you're, you've gotten through this whole vlog of me just talking and yapping... Uh, usually my vlogs are a little bit more uh, upbeat and exciting. Um, just going through a hard time right now, but we'll, we'll get through it together. We'll, we'll get through it and we'll keep on going, right? Because that's what we do. You keep on going. You keep your head up and you keep on walking forward. So uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It's the best way you can support me. Uh, thumbs up, of course, helps. You guys watch YouTube all the time. I'm sure you know you know what to do. Leave me a comment down below. It helps with the algorithms. And come back tomorrow. We'll be doing some trucking tomorrow. I'll see you later, everybody. Thanks for watching and thanks for listening.